Hi, I'm Chad. I'm an architect at Palantir. I'm super excited today to share with you a little bit more about AIP Assist. It's our suite of tools and features across the whole platform that help users of all different types get things done more efficiently. So AIP Assist, if you're a developer, can help you write code, debug code, search through the documentation, best practices, look at the developer community, all while referencing back so you understand not only kind of the summary that it's going to generate, but where did it get this information from? And you can go look at that yourself. Or if you're an analyst, you can use AIP Assist and Quiver, for example, to look at complex machine data and using natural language actually can build the transforms on time series, for example. Or if you're an end user in a logistics workflow and you have a standard operating procedure, you can actually create custom AIP agents that are gonna assist you in the context of your business with your business language in that application context. So the goal is meet you where you are across the whole platform to help you get things done. All right, let's dive in. All right, what is AIP Assist? Down at the bottom left here, you can see AIP Assist. When we pop this out, we get our little assistant panel here. So you can ask your own questions here. I'm just gonna pull one from one of the default examples here of how can I build, rebuild a, a specific pipeline uh, based on the ancestors. All right, so let's actually go run that. And the cool thing here is gonna look at our documentation, our developer community, so community.palantir.com, the information that's there. And it's gonna even also reference those different things that I can go look at. So not only am I see getting an answer that is easy to consume, I have the deeper dive documentation and citations of how I got to that answer. Super useful that I can link out to just that. If we go, this is contextually aware to what applications I'm in. So now if I switch over to my code editor here, I can understand and actually go look at some Python code. I wanted to explain what this Python code is doing to me. So let's select this part of it just to make it quick here. And we can explain this code. So this is pretty slick right here. It's going to actually tell me what's happening in this code base and you can give it all the code or subsets of your code in here. Very cool. Now, the other pieces, as you saw, when I dropped down this box here, I can find bugs. So it's going to give me suggestions that will look across my whole code base here. So if I want to actually look at this whole Python file, I can have it actually find the bugs across this Python file. Now, this is super handy as I'm trying to debug, clean up things all that kind of stuff. I also can have it translate to different languages. Maybe I'm more comfortable with SQL. Great, I can do that. Or I wanna move it to another system. I can do that as well. Very useful that you can see it's right where I'm at. It's contextually where. Now, if we go over to Pipeline Builder, I have lots of other things in AIP Assist. I can generate natural language transforms so I can write regex, do all sorts of stuff for me. Uh, I can also explain what's going on in this pipeline. So if I hit click here, I'm actually gonna explain what is happening in this pipeline. So now, instead of having to go through each node and figure out what's going on, here's a summary of what's going on in this pipeline. You can also see that we have suggestions that are automatically coming up. Hey, there's actually a way to run this faster, maybe cheaper. So you can see LMs are embedded across every little bit of the platform here. All right, so that's from a developer perspective. Now let's go take a look at the user perspective. All right, so let's say I have a workflow here. This is looking at my different machine sensor data across my facilities. And I want to dive in a little bit more to some of these to answer some questions about the machines. So if I open up in Quiver here, you can see I have that same time series type data set coming in. And I have AIP Assist right at my fingertips to help me analyze this data. So what's the average maintenance for each hour on the machine? Cool. So let's actually do that. We're going to create a bar chart here at the bottom. So right here, AIP Assist is helping me dive into my own data, answer questions on the fly. All right, so now if we look at our inventory management application here, so this might be a workflow that I have inventory analysts working in, new people coming in and out, I have standard business processes, and some of them are encoded here, but I also have humans working here. So how do I assist? Normally you would have a documentation up here. So in this document, this outlines kind of how the application works, maybe some processes, some keywords and what they mean. So people can speed and understand how to operate amongst your context of your business. This is great, but even better is if they could chat with these things and help understand in the context of where they are in the application in this documentation, how to help them get things done. So if we actually take a look at that here, here's this in uh, Foundry and AIP, there is a, a tool called Notepad. It looks very much like a doc here, but the cool part is this integrates with different ontology objects, applications. It's integrated across the whole ecosystem. So now we have this documentation in here. This is great, but I want to feed this up and there's a couple different ways you can do this. So we have AIP Assist in here with writing, so I can fix grammar, shorten it, translate, all the kind of normal Gen AI features on text. But if I hit click actions, I can actually add this to AIP Assist. So I'm going to add this in, we're going to call it V2. And since I already did this here in prep, 
and boom, there we go. Now, if we go over to a new tool called AIP Agent Studio here, you can see our inventory management agent that I'm setting up. And in here, I can do lots of different things in configuration. So if we look here, I can see the context. So the context of this agent is the document that we just created right there, the V2. Very cool. So that's indexed and ready to go. And in here, I have a model selection. So I can pick any one of the models that we have as our default model catalog, or you can also even import or bring your own model endpoint. Lots of cool stuff in here. All right, and then you create a system prompt about what you want to go do, a temperature. So in this case, I want it to be very deterministic. So I'm going to lower the temperature because I want them to really just use the document and be very specific about uh, that. And then we go into our conversion uh, conversation starter. So these are different questions I can prompt people so they can understand how they might want to interact with this. And then if we look at this, kind of we can look back at usage and other things. So what does that actually look like now that we can deploy this? So there's a couple different ways, but my favorite thing here is I can click down on our AIP assist at the bottom. And if we actually click on this, we get a selector. So we can pick the, the default one that's going to go between different um, agents and documentation or the platform. You can spe specify a platform documentation assist, developer assist, or here's the one we just created, inventory management agent. So there, now I can ask it different questions. So something very specific in the document, if we search down here, Let's see, a movement type config. That's probably one. So like, what's a movement type config? If I'm an analyst and I'm not really sure what term this means on here, what's a movement type config? And I can ask that agent. So you can see it's gonna use my inventory management agent and it's gonna find the answer. The goal here is to be very specific based on the context that I'm giving it about my business, my process, what this means. And so there we go. So you can see there, this is very specific. A movement type configures configuration from an object and it then references back to the documentation. So this is great. Not only can I show them the answer, but I can show them the context of where we got it from. So again, you can see this across the whole platform. I can integrate this into a workshop app. I can have my agent here. The idea is to meet your users where they are. All right, I hope you enjoyed a sneak peek at some of the different AIP Assist features. There's a lot more to be had here, whether you're a developer, you're an analyst, you're an end user, AIP Assist there to help you get things done. Driving outcomes is the end goal. All right, get building.